Introducing the 23rd edition of GenStat. This release gives you even more facilities to maximize the value from your data. It is now easy to analyze censored Poisson count data using a log linear model, a generalized linear mixed model, or a hierarchical generalized linear model. During data collection, censoring occurs when counts are not taken above or below a bound. For example, if your experiment generates some very large counts, it may only be practical to count up to a certain value. Observations exceeding this value are therefore right censored. GenStat23 readily handles such censored Poisson data, providing you with well-behaved and reliable estimates of the model parameters and treatment means. Other enhancements to GenStat's regression facilities include a new menu for performing circular regression, enabling you to model a periodic response, such as an angle, compass direction, or hour of the day. You also have the ability to include a grouping factor in a locally weighted regression model, that is, a low S model, allowing you to fit a different smooth curve to each group in your data. The new procedure, RMPL Confidence, gives you meaningful confidence intervals when you have Poisson data and treatments with all zero counts, or binomial data and treatments with either all successes or all failures. GenStat 23 also offers new menus, graphs, and statistical procedures for exploring multivariate and multi-categorical data sets. These include innovative graphical tools for exploring very large data sets in which observations are classified into groups. The new graphics menu for 2D trellis plot of groups lets you investigate the distribution of groups of observations over two variates using either a trellis of bar charts or a trellis of pie charts. These types of graphs are particularly useful following a multivariate classification analysis, such as canonical variates analysis, discriminant analysis, and stepwise discriminant analysis, for exploring how effective the analysis has been at separating the observations into their respective groups. You can find the new 2D trellis plots button on these menus. For graphing multi-categorical data, we've added a new graph type, the mosaic plot. Mosaic plots are a powerful tool for visualizing and exploring tables of counts. Using a mosaic plot, you can investigate the associations between categorical variables in your data set, conditional on your other categorical variables. Another key statistical development in GenStat 23 is the implementation of an efficient clustering method, one which exploits principal components to reduce the dimensions of the data. This new feature is ideal when you want to form groups of observations, but your multivariate dataset is very large. The final feature I'd like to highlight is a little bit of light-hearted fun. The new Games menu. Although these games are primarily there for your amusement, the game procedures also demonstrate user interactivity within GenStat. Plus, they also illustrate how you can create a movie by means of animated series of graphs or PNG images. There are many more new features and enhancements in GenStat 23 that we haven't covered in this video, but you can learn about these in the What's New page in the GenStat Knowledge Base. And also, please do check out our GenStat Video Tutorials page. We'll be adding more videos covering new features in GenStat 23 over the coming months.